Let's now go and start recording and like I normally don't do yeah, intros. I normally don't do intros even anymore and just go ahead and start recording. Um when I'm around joining with other people. Yeah. You don't say how's it going everybody? It's the Matrix. Or no. Something. I don't know. Not not anymore, not since um been joining with Zebra and his friends really, because we just kinda of start recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Discover what type of ghost we are dealing with, preventing us from hunting with the crucifix. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event. Capture a photo of dirty water in a sink. So Mark Harris. So then you took out the crucifix though, right? I was able to put it back. Okay. So yeah, it works now. By the way, like if you get away from someone, they have a tripod they um. Too. Yeah, we got a tripod. Okay. Let's open up and leave. So what what did it say about the person? Uh, Mark Harris, let's go see notes to everyone. Should be able to use his name to anger and get some paranormal. So you want to shout his name a bunch as soon as we enter the house? What's the name? Mark Harris. Got it. Uh, have you done this house? You got the key? How do you have a flashlight on your shoulder? T. Everyone does. Harris, you're, you're, you're a duty head. Oh, yeah. Uh, try not to. This would be a much safer curse for us, duty head. <laughs> You're a duty head. I took a picture of the back of your neck. <laughs> That's is that worth something? Yeah, on the, really? Yeah. Hold on, how do I check the journal? Is it J? J. It's, it's J. Okay. Going upstairs. I don't think there's anything down here. So, yeah, we gotta check for like dirty water. Hello, you who? Mark Harris, you're stupid. Did you open the door? Mark Harris. I'm sorry. Did you open the door? Oh, uh, let me let me. Uh, does this work? There's like a, it's like a radio signal come on. Yeah. Still nothing on the EMF. Um. You who? You in here? That's another room. Oh, this is a bathroom. Hold up. Not seeing like bones or anything of the sorts. Let's see, in toilet. No, same. I think we got nothing on our hands. Just the way I like it. So yeah, once the ghost starts hunting, we need to shut up and um, go run and hide. Yeah. Oh, there's dirty water in here. Um. Is it really? Yeah. Take a picture of it. There you go. I got a picture of dirty water. Can it's we turn the light on? Is it in here? Uh, it's still at EMF one. Mark, Mark Harris, are you here? Are you in here, Mark Harris? I'm gonna go. Uh. Yeah, I'm still not getting okay, any of Okay, should we get the tripod and put it in this room? Because uh, that's what it is. Well, we don't know yet, but um. Hello, Mark Harris. Did you leave the light on? Well, like the hall light, I think. Oh no! You, no, you didn't. Should it I take? Was, it's. Oh! Oh! Ghost orb! Ghost orb! Ghost orb! Where? I saw I saw a ghost orb uh, go around there, like uh, do a figure eight on the screen, so we can put ghost orb in the journal. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it what you wouldn't mistake it for anything else. Um. Okay, I'll put a, a ghost orb in there. Hold on. Yep. I took some awesome pictures, didn't I? <laughs> Apparently, we can gather different keys, like other kinds of keys. For what though? Yeah, I don't know about this ghost. We haven't really seen much. He said that there was a... I think I saw like, the ghost outside. I found the key up here. Oh, you did? Yeah, right here. Pick it up. I don't know what... You can pick it up. Like, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they're for. Oh, that goes to the garage. Oh, really? 
Coming. I'm um, been coming. I I can see you. Oh, is it honey? Oh, 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 is it flashing light. I think so. Okay, close the doors. No cold temperatures. I can't turn lights on. I was like, how do I open the door? I think he died. <laughs> and like, once the lights start flickering, you're supposed to go run and hide. Nice dead body, sir. So he dropped his thermometer. So the ghost was like right around here and then. Huh? Um. When it happened. So. I'm gonna maybe drop this thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna guess. I think I'm just gonna guess. Cause all we got was a uh, kind of like a ghost orb. It might be one of the, like a shy ghost, like a I don't know, like a Yuri or something was it. But I mean, it still killed my friend. So I think at this point, I'm just not gonna waste any more of his time. Um, been recording for half an hour. I think that's long enough for the first time. Anyways, so what do we got? Uh, just for a ghost. Let's just go with a mare. That's just what my gut instinct is telling me. I don't want my friend to be out kind of like any longer than he has to be. Uh, I'm coming, dude, but yeah, when when the, you see flicker the lights, you're supposed to go run and hide. Like, for your life. So, kind of feel bad. Not really. I said it was a mare. Let's see what it was. It wasn't gin. Oh man, I think I even it said. I think I even said like a gin was an option, um, just like based off my reasoning. I, I don't know. I thought it was a shade because it took so long to hunt. Were you hearing what I was saying? Yeah. So like that was sound reasoning though, because it was like a kind of like a shy ghost, so it was either like a mayor or a shade or a Yuri. Um, I don't think I I, I don't know if gin was kind of like one of the options. What was the death like? <laughs> a good try though i think i'm kidding i'm what? so tired what was the death when i sleep what was the uh death like the what how, how like how did you die oh oh uh just the i fell i oh. tripped and fell <laughs> okay because yeah once the lights start flicking you're supposed to go run and hide and turn off your lights <laughs> okay y'all uh we're just gonna go ahead and hit ready up i think i got enough stuff here to kind of like mess around with um, yeah, we don't have any, like, cameras. We got a video camera and stuff to mess around with. So maybe if we get, like, I'm just trying to, you know, do this. Uh, Bear had to go. So it's going to be back to me again. I mean, it's great. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. Okay. Let's just go ahead and start this. Uh, I mean, that was all right. <laughs> I mean, it killed my friend. And it was a gin. I need to see what a gin was. I don't think I said, like, a gin was an option. But I thought it was, like, more one and more of kind of like the shy ghost so yeah no uh, i just kind of wanted to play this game with some more people for halloween and the scary game stuff was kind of dead anyways so what was like a a gin then uh ghost orb spirit box see i never got anything with the emf spirit box or a spirit box territorial ghost have attack with threat itself also been known to travel at significant speed new extremes in general travel at faster speed its victim is Far away. Turning off the location's power source will prevent the gin from using its ability. See, that wasn't mean turn off the location's power source. I have no idea. Uh, okay. We're back in it again. So, I'm just going to try and, like, be more proactive. Like, just try and get more stuff, more stuff done. So, I got the spirit book. Well, actually, I don't think I need that first. Uh, try to be more proactive. Okay. So, let me take the flashlight. E to pick up. E to pick up. I gotta remember that. E to pick up. G to drop. Uh, just for quick access. So, E, e to pick up. Q the switch, uh, and then let me take this because now I know that you can like kind of drop stuff off um, at the things and whatever. Discover what type of ghost you're dealing with. Detect the room below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Cleanse the area. Oh, I was thinking about the case of too, but uh, that would be too much. Capture a photo of the ghost. 
Uh, Richard Davis, Ghost seems to respond to everyone who should be able to use his name to anger it and gets a paranormal activity. Okay, go, uh, Richard Davis. Yeah, so apparently there's something like with the, uh, oh yeah, T. Yeah, that makes it a lot better, I think. So let me have my, like, EMF thing out and then T. There we go, that's how you do it. That's how, that's what, that's what's making it so confusing to see and stuff. Okay, that's probably what better figured out. A little bit confusing, but hey, I'll take it. So I'm gonna walk around first with the EMF and see if I can't get anything. I'm gonna go back to the truck and drop off this thing. I wasn't getting anything at all with the EMF, so I don't know if that was just a bust or what. But yeah, I apparently took a picture of a bone. Okay, apparently. Haven't gotten any activity on the thing yet. So you can see 89% already. So that's a little bit quick for my likings. Um, so I don't know if that's a sign or something or another. Oh, we don't have a, I don't, I don't have a tripod. Okay. So, I'm gonna take the UV light now. Okay, I'm going back upstairs. I'm also just gonna be talking to you guys just to fill the silence because I am a little bit scared. <laughs> um, so I got the UV light. I don't know if I need to have my flashlight on, but it just helps a lot to kind of like know where I'm going. Oh, we got handprints. Oh my goodness, we actually got something. Uh, so T... Then, um, oh, I can't take a picture of that, though, because I need to switch. Dang it. And how do I, you know, do that? Uh, boom. Okay, that probably won't count. But that's whatever. Okay, so, we got, um, uh, handprints. We got fingerprints. That's awesome. I actually did something protective. <laughs> um, so, now, if I go back. Oh, we also got freezing breath. Okay, let's uh, let's get let's get out of here. Let's um, so it's probably in that room. I need I don't think I have a thermometer. Dang it! I think I had the money for it too. Richard Davis, can you speak to me? Richard Davis, can you speak to me? Kind of like looking on the floors for anything. Not seeing any bones, not seeing any dirty water. Yeah, I would not like this to be my room. The ghost handprint on it. Richard Davis, can you speak to me? I'm not going to say it's name too many more times, man. Why does this person have two welcome mats? Like, you don't need a welcome mat in the house. You just need it out on the porch. What the heck? What kind of crazy person is that? No wonder a ghost is haunting this place. Like, two welcome mats and, and like, another one? Oh, is that a Ouija board? Ooh. That might be a Ouija board, actually. I wonder if I could just, like, pick it up and flip it around. Okay, I'm going to, um... Drop this. Okay, nothing yet. Uh, my lights are out. Okay, now. Let me uh, pick you up. Okay. Oh. That scared the bejesus out of me. Just like I said before. I couldn't close the door all the way. So yeah, I didn't get the book thing down there. I didn't get the book thing down there. I didn't get the book down thing down there. Um, I'm still getting cold breath over here. Eh? 
I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. That's like twice now. In like 10 seconds. I'm getting out of here, man. So, I'm, that might have been freezing temperatures. Really should have gotten it tomorrow. I didn't even think about that. Really should have, man. Oh, my goodness, man. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, and was that the garage that the uh, power source thing was in? Capture a picture, photo, cleanse the area. Um... So maybe we can just go ahead and say, you know, for time's sake, freezing temperatures. <laughs> um, so what's a ghost that like likes to hunt a lot? So I got a picture of bone, two bones, well, one bone, and the fingerprints. Oh, it did count. Awesome. Okay. Um, so fingerprints, freezing temperatures, maybe. A banshee, natural hunter, and will attack anything. It has been known to stalk its prey one at a time until making its kill. Banshee will, will only target one person at a time. Banshee's... Fear the crucifix will be less aggressive near one. Okay. Freezing temperatures and spirit box. One most dangerous ghost we find. It's not known as a ghost that will have the ability to fly. So it's waiting to almost never touch the ground. I mean, it can can't be tracked by footsteps. But I, So I heard it marching around on the ground. Almost never touch the ground. So I don't think it's a wraith because I heard it. I don't think it's uh, touching the ground. Um, uh, one's touching the ground. So, my, I think it's a banshee. It was hunting me. It was going after me, man. It was probably freezing temperatures. We never got an EMF, but that's my guess. Uh, banshee. Sure. And it's one that I have discovered before or something. So, that's my guess. Alright, let's pack up the truck and go home. No need to do anything else. Uh, not when it's just me and don't have much. Man, that was scary. Got, like, attacked twice in, like, ten seconds. I did not like that. Now it's panicking to like try and get the door shut. That's what I want, did not want to do. Um, yes! Got it right. Oh, that feels so good! That feels so good! Uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go end off this episode. Um, got some first footage of me doing this game by myself. I don't know why I'm putting that in there. But got some better footage of me doing this game by myself, which is just now. And then uh, with, the with my friend. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll do another one of this. I kind of want to do it at least one more time. Because it is a pretty scary game for Halloween and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, there is some more Phasmophobia, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you want me to continue playing it in November? I might. Uh, we'll see. And from Mr. Matrix, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.